Well, hello there, folks. Welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are again, another new week, another new video, another brand new video. In today's brand new video, I'm heading up onto Speyside. I'm heading to the Glen Mori Distillery. I used to think it was a load of supermarket whiskey and all that kind of stuff. Uh, never thought it'd do anything really exciting. Paid the visit a couple of been I've visited over the last couple of years. I've done a couple of distillery visits, picked up a couple of handfuls, loved them all. And I've managed to get my hands on one of these new experimental projects that they have there at Glenmorey. This is from the Warehouse One project. So there's a few of these bottles kicking around. I think there's a Tokai, I think there's a Barolo. Uh, I've got the Manzanilla one here. So I'm going to talk to you about the Manzanilla. Managed to pick it up. It comes in around about £75 a bottle. It's cash strength. It's full cash strength. 54.6% ABV. Natural colour. Non-chill filtered. How do we know it? Because it says it straight here on the, the bottle. Not only does it say it here on the bottle, it actually says it again on the back. So it's pretty much, it's they've, they've doubled up on it. Fantastic stuff at Glenmorey. Fantastic. Is the whiskey any good? Let's find out. So I'm going to nose it, guys. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to score it. And I'm going to get gone as usual. I'm going to make this quite quick. It's been sitting in the glass for the last hour or so. It's been covered up as usual. Whiskey friend coins on it. So let's dive into it and let's nose it. I'm not going to waste any time on distillery. I think all that Google, you just Google anything you want to know about Glen Morey. Let's just do the whiskey, folks. Okay. Wow, that's different. That is, it's sweet. It's very, very creamy. Creamy. I think it reminds me of, I had a drink when I was much, much younger. It was like a tin drink. It was cremola foam. It's that kind of cremola foam kind of nose to it. Super, super fruity. You would expect that. It's from a Speyside distillery. So the Speyside characteristic is fruit. So there's lots of fruit here. Predominantly pears. Apples. Lots of apples. Lots of pears. Yeah, definitely some green apple. But it's... it's I'm trying to think of the word. It's not just about... Normally Speyside's are just about those fruity, fruity drams. This has got something else going on. This is... It's grassy. It's even a little bit outdoor. A little bit outdoors note going on. It's, there's some nice spike there. Some nice spice there. Some nice spiced oak. It says on the box I should be picking up tea. I can't quite pick up the tea. But there's, there's definitely something else in there. Which may be the tea. But it's got that funky outdoor fruitiness. That's probably the best way of explaining it. Really, really interesting nodes. Colour wise, as I say, it's natural colour, folks. Real, real nice. Beautiful, nice, big, thick legs on that. Lovely. It's beading up quite nice as well. I don't know if the colour's picking that up. But it's a real nice gold colour. It's even starting to, but I don't know whether it's the lights in here, but it's even bothering on that little bit. It's gone a little bit orangey, a little bit. Maybe you think it was maybe a little bit of Madeira in there, but it's definitely Manzanilla. Manzanilla is a Spanish Spanish sherry, Spanish dry sherry, £75 a bottle, distilled in February 2008, and there was, it's from four casks and they managed to pull 1,240 bottles from it, so there's not a lot of it around. So guys, what a wonderful, wonderful nose, it's a really funky outdoor it was quite sweet, but it's not sweet anymore. Initially it was sweet, but it's, it seems to have dried up and become a wee bit more kind of out, that outdoor. Not not quite farmyardy, but it's, it's, it's fresh cut grass, cut hay, something like that. There's definitely an outdoor feel to it. But let's, let's test it and see what it's like. So we're just going to send it straight down the hatch, guys. Responsibly, of course. Cheers now. Oh my good God. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Looks like 2023 is going to be a good year. Folks, that is at full cast strength, 
it's powerful, it's intense, it comes in fruity, dries up your palate, becomes a little bit dry, Salt, it'll even tastes salty, it's dry, salty, fruity, but almost as you pick up the dryness, straight away it becomes very, very quickly mouth coating, thick, creamy, mouth coats the whole palate, but it comes so, becomes so mouth watering, the dryness passes very, very quickly. Let me try another sip of this, folks. Oh, I need to do some research on this one. Cheers. Wow. Fruity. So fruity. The pears and apples are definitely all there. There's other fruits in there. I think it's even maybe more a wee bit more orchard fruit. Maybe some apricot. Definitely orchard fruits. Then then I'm picking up a wee bit of a toffee note. Vanilla. Wow. But as as you're going through the palette, folks, it's 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 very, very fizzy. That that cremola foam thing has come through onto the palate. It's fizzy, almost sherbety. But at the same time it's so dry and salty and Wow. Spicy. So fizzy, sherbety, salty, spicy. It's all going on in the palate. It's all coming through in layers. The fruit is in there wonderfully. The orchard fruits, the apples, the pears. Wow, there's so much there. But it's it's such a funky whiskey. Which I'd never ever imagined would come from or even imagine ever be saying about Glen Mori. It's got funky whiskey, maybe it's come from a funky cask. Maybe this funky manzanilla is pretty, pretty cool. Really nice. I've not had a lot to do with manzanilla, but if it's anything like this, this is epic. This is a wicked, wicked whiskey. Wow. Let me do a little bit for the finish, folks, and I'll give this a score and I'll get gone. So nice. Cheers, folks. Wow. So dry. It becomes so mouth-watering. The finish is definitely salty. There's a salty, savoury thing going on. The a little bit of fizzy still there, but as it, the, the, the savoury, the salty is carrying on, the fizzy is kind of easing out into the finish. Dry, definitely dry, definitely salty. Savoury. It's long. Wow. It goes on. The saltiness goes on. The savoury, I'm just trying to think what it's savoury. That maybe some that it sounds maybe some sort of tea again, but definitely, definitely. Wow, what a wonderful whiskey, guys! Very impressed. Glad I've tried it. Glad I've picked it up. If you've tried this warehouse one whiskey, guys, this man's an ear finish. Dive into the chat and dive in the comments and let me know about it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you've not tried it, then whew, why have you not tried it? Is it because it's Glen Murray? Wow. This is super, super stuff. This might actually entice me out now to go and search out some more of these Warehouse One Glen Murray bottles. So, let's score it. Guys, it's quite an easy score. I'm going to score it 89 out of 100, this one. Fantastic piece of work. Fantastic whiskey. £75, is it? I thought it might have been a lot a bit high, but it's... The whiskey certainly backs that up, folks. I don't know how expensive these Manzanilla casks are. I think it's worth the 75. Awesome. Wicked. And it's it's definitely funky. It's definitely outdoor. It's it's that fruity space aid. It's like a funky space aider, which is really, really unusual these days. So other than that, guys, big big thanks. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. You know what to do. Want to join Patreon? I'll pop all the links in the description. And as always, I'm Alan. I'm the whiskey friend. And until the next time. Don't forget to send good whiskey straight down the hatch. And always remember the pleasures in the sharing. See you soon, folks.